Hi guys and welcome back to this Mercedes motorhome conversion. Today's video is going to be building up the actual bed, uh, well bedroom basically. I've been cracking on with the build itself, I've got the kitchen units mostly in place, the fridge oven mostly in place and I'm pretty much darting between jobs and jobs but through the magic of editing this video is just going to be solely about building all the frame for the actual bedroom frame. Some of the frame is also going to be incorporated for the uh, bathroom build as well because this is going to be full width bed up to here. Then there's going to be a bathroom there. So the dividing wall will separate the bathroom from the uh, the bedroom as well. Also going to be another dividing wall just on this side just to separate off the kitchen from the bedroom as well. It's all going to be pretty much built or framed out with uh, 2x4 CSL timbers. I'm just, I've already secured one of the timbers to the frame there and that's just not going anywhere. I've already got another one cut as well just with some uh, 45 degree angles so it'll butt up to where the fiberglass is there as well. So that one's going to be getting secured down this side. Then I'll be able to start building the frame out on either side and hopefully by the end of this video there'll be pretty much a nice walkway going through into the bedroom area and that'll separate off the kitchen and a nice separating wall for the uh, bathroom as well. So I'll get some safety gear out, some tools out, and we'll get cracked on.
Right guys, so there you go. That's all of the walls built for inside this Mercedes Mobility Minibus camper conversion, or motorhome conversion really. That's the bathroom walls built. I've also got the shower tray down in place as well, but that'll get covered in a different video where I'm also going to be cladding the inside of this with some uh, PVC waterproof uh, cladding, just to be sure that there's not going to be able uh, for any water to ingress inside here as well. So there's going to be a full cladding video and bathroom uh, full installed as well. But that's the walls fully fitted for the bathroom and for the bedroom. The only wall section that hasn't been cladded over yet is this section here because this still has some of the cabling to be ran up for some of the lights because I haven't ran any of the lights in yet because there's still the PVC cladding for the roof to go up as well. But wall wise that's all of the internal structures all built out. As you can see, I've also cracked on and built the belt, uh, built the bed as well. I'll cover that in another video coming up soon. And that is a full, small, double-sized with a full memory foam mattress that hasn't been cut down to shape or anything. That's the full size of the mattress. So that's 190 with a little bit of extra space at the top there as well because the bed's actually 200 centimeters long. So you've got a full-size mattress full width as well for the bed as well so as I say I'll be covering that in a different video coming up soon so if you haven't already remember to hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up so on the inside as you can see there's just got uh, the ply panelling on at the moment I'm going to be running some sort of 3d brick effect cladding inside here it's going to be running all the way around covering over all the old uh, fiberglass panelling and there's also going to be some cupboards to be built that will be co uh, covering in all of the wiring and also covering over the climate control units as well. And that will have some ducting, one coming down into the bedroom and the other one's probably going to run across into the kitchen area to cool the living area as well. So as you can see, I've also been cracking on uh, inside the build as well. I've got half the kitchen pretty much put together, half my electrics build put together. Half the fridge uh, install and oven put together, so there's still lots of videos to come. There's just lots of actual uh, finishing touches still to be applied to a lot of the actual jobs, that's all. But in regards to building all of the internal stru uh, structures, all the frame wise, that's everything done. Everything's fully insulated as well. So, last things left to do is just going to be getting it all cladded up, and that goes for the inside of the entire bus really, so all that's going to get covered in future videos. So, I hope you found this video useful, informative. If you did, give it a good old thumbs up. And see if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, because as you can see, there's lots more videos still to come in here. And uh, there's a lot already documented on this build already as well. So if you haven't already, remember to have a look through my channel. There's loads of content on there covering this build. A couple of T4s, T5 couple of high jets connect so there's loads of content on my channel and there's still gonna be plenty more to come as well so give the video a good old thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you on the next video of the series of this conversion thanks for watching cheers